one sure way to understand that, you know, there's a great deception in this uh, critical race theory. It reminds me of religious arguments. All right. Say I'm an atheist. I'm not. But just say I was and you're a Bible believing Christian. And I say, hey, uh, your God condones the rape of women and children. And your response to me is, oh, it's because you don't understand the Bible. I hear a lot of that. You don't know the scriptures. Or say I'm a Christian. I'm not. But just say I was and you're an atheist. And I tell you, hey, you believe that a big bang happened for no reason. Then created the universe and everything in it. And your response to me is, oh, that's because you don't understand evolution. I hear a lot of that in those arguments. Okay. What is critical race theory? Well, actually, I think it's different depends on who's teaching it and how they're teaching it. I think you can agree with that. Uh, we were taught that Christopher Columbus discovered America. Well, you and I both know that Christopher Columbus got lost. People are already living here. Um, but there are those who are using their own ideology and their own party affiliation to go to the extreme. And that's all I'm trying to address here. And but but what, is that, what does that have to do with critical race theory? Uh, uh, let, let me just let well, me pause for one second. I'm, I'm trying to understand, though. You, you oppose critical race theory, which I understand. I'm just asking, what is it? What is the thing you define it? Like, for example, if I said I'm against creationism, I would say creationism is X, Y, and Z, right? If I said I was against the teaching of sex education, I'd say, well, sex education is X, Y, and Z, and I'd have a basis for it. What is critical race theory? Well, first of all, again, I can tell you, but it's left up to you to understand. I can't make you understand. The fact of it is, the critical race theory, even on its basis, should not be taught in our schools, period. Now, if you can't understand- But what is it? And if you want to debate, uh, well, to me, what it does, to me, my interpretation, as well as many others- No, not what it does, what is it? How do you define it? I mean, that's asking you to define critical define, race theory, because my audience may not know. It. Well, Say obviously it again? you don't know. And you haven't, I said, obviously you don't know, and you haven't told your audience. But again, <laughs> how I see it, and how I don't know. Received. Well, well, then what is it then? No, what is it then? Okay, well, what I'm is, happy to answer me. that for you. But you're well, you're, you're saying you, just answer. I'll tell you what. Just I, I, answer I will. For me. I Let's absolutely. Get into debate. Okay, I'm waiting for you to answer. Go ahead and answer. I I I I, I will. I, 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 just no, hold just on answer. one second. Just answer. I said I told you I was banned. It. That's it. Now you tell me what it is. Tell me, since you're the expert. Sure. Because you you did so-called expert. Did yeah. you write so, it? So critical. So so so. Did you write it? Did you write it? you the expert. Did you write it? Okay. So what makes you an expert? What so makes you an expert? What makes me an ex what makes me an expert yeah. is that for the last 15 years, yeah. I've been a trained scholar with an Ivy League PhD who has written and studied race. What makes me Where's an expert experience? is that I have lectured widely around the world on critical dollar. race theory. PhDs come a dime a dozen. So, so, you think so because you have a PhD, you're an expert. But what county? No, I, I don't actually. So, so, what yeah, actually, actually, in actually, 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 Y'all got y'all oh, y'all gotta mute his mic. Now, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, if, you mic, you if, you, if you talk over me, call. We're not gonna name call on the show. I have not name called you, sir. You have come on the show. You're a black Republican. I have not called you a name. I've not called you Uncle Tom. I've not called you a handkerchief head. I've not called you a sambo. I've not called you a, a, a shine. I've not called you a ham bone. I haven't done any of that. So you're not gonna come on my show and call me dumb. What I will tell you is that critical race theory is a theory that actually emerged out of critical legal studies. It is a theory that makes an attempt to understand the law through the lens of race, and it, it's founded on some fundamental presumptions. One is the intractability of race and racism, meaning that it's, a ra it's an intractable problem in America, and that we have to use the lens of race to make sense of things. It also is based on uh, the use of counter stories. Listening to the, as Derek Bell, the critical race scholar, said, the voice is at the bottom of the well to make sense of the world and to make sense of, of, of the law. These are two big theories, two big pillars of it. And so what we want to do, if you want to ban it, you have to explain to me why. But the problem is all these Republicans, all of these scholars, they, uh, excuse me, all of these Republicans, all of these non-scholars, they say, I'm going to ban critical race theory, and they can't answer it. And then he says, well, if you can't answer it, then you must not know what it is. It's like on some like he who smelted dealt it kind of logic. The fact of the matter is he can't define it because he don't know what it is. 
Anytime I've heard one express to another that they have a problem with critical race theory, then it's, oh, that's because you don't understand it. When the facts are stated that critical race theory is racism against who is seen as the dominant society, then it's, oh, that's because you don't understand critical race theory. You heard Lamont saying, okay, well, tell me what it is. Critical race theory teaches that uh, white people are the devil and is responsible for all of the problems of non-whites. It teaches that all white people are inherently racist and are of a privileged class upon being birthed into this world. You heard Lamont say that uh, it looks at everything through the lens of race, which is exactly the same lens people were looking through. And from that, we got the black code laws. The Jim Crow laws, the non-whites can own guns, redlining, and the rest. But critical race theory wants to do the same, but against white people this time. The mandates, all the mandates, and the woman dates. School curriculum, oh God, here we go with the critical race theory stuff. Hold everything, guys. I'm so tired of hearing this. No one, no kids in elementary school or high school are taught, are taught critical race theory. It's a grad school level skill set and a, it's part of grad school level curriculums. More deception. That was Tim Black. His name Tim Black. But over the years, I've witnessed how stupid he is. So I call him Timmy. You heard him say, it's not taught in K-12, through it's only taught in grad school. Okay, that's a lie. It is taught in many K-12 through schools. And parents are fighting to not even have it introduced into schools. But it's not in schools. Yeah, and parents are fighting to keep it out. But it's not in there. I've heard a lot of people do that, not just Timmy. They're saying that because it's not in there yet, then there's no need to fight to keep it out. That's more of the deception. Today, Florida's Board of Education will vote on a proposal that, if passed, would place new rules on how American history is taught in public schools. Supporters say the move would combat the controversial concept known as critical race theory. News of Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us live, and Ashley, opponents of the idea have a, a different opinion. They certainly do. Bruce and Jennifer, good morning to you both. Yes, people who are opposed to this say not only is it political, but they also say it is unnecessary because critical race theory is not taught in Florida's public schools. Now, this is a copy of the proposed rule changes, and now the Florida Education Association is submitting rules of its own. The state school board's decision today could have an impact on how U.S. history is taught and on those giving the lessons. The proposed rule change would bar teachers from attempting to indoctrinate or persuade students to a particular point of view. I think all American history, good, bad, and ugly, should be taught in history class. Critical race theory does not do that. Keisha King is with the Northeast Florida Division of Moms for Liberty. She says the theory is less to do about history and teaches a sort of racial hierarchy. The reason that there is a problem is because it's saying if you are in these hierarchical groups that you are deemed automatically a uh, the oppressor and the oppressed. For those reasons, King hopes the theory never makes its way to the classroom. So I can see how all of this clearly started in the university setting, but now um, it's in the schools, in the K-12 to schools. Perhaps, Dr. Burke, could you give us some examples of how that's actually being implemented, this, how the theory is being implemented? Right, and it really is critical theory and all of its derivations, critical pedagogy, critical race theory, really is derived from Marxism at its, at its essence. And so now we're seeing, as, as Dr. Wood mentioned, uh, this theory make its way from universities, university-based colleges of education in particular, down to the K-12 classroom. And so we see it manifest itself in uh, efforts like California's new ethnic studies curriculum, which is the first statewide ethnic studies curriculum in the country. The California State Board of Education just unanimously approved it about two weeks ago. And 
if you read through the model curriculum, all of the frameworks are online. It really is like sitting through a graduate seminar on critical race theory. The education officials in California who are charged with determining what students will learn in that state, and mind you, this is a state in which just three and 10 eighth graders can read proficiently, they have determined that what is imperative in this moment instead is learning about systems of power and identity politics. And so if you read through the model curriculum in California, you'll, you'll see it is clear that students are taught neo-Marxist theories of intersectionality, sorting students into multiple categories according to race and gender and sexual orientation in class. Can you give me one quick small example of how, you know, someone in elementary school might be taught this? What activity would they sure. be doing? Well, if you if you read through these frameworks, you'll see students will learn to one of the quotes from the frameworks is critique empire building in history and its relationship to white supremacy, racism and other forms of power and oppression. Uh, children throughout their K-12 school years will quote, challenged, racist, bigoted, discriminatory, imperialist, colonial beliefs and practices on multiple levels. Uh, so it goes on and on um, and hits those themes over and over again throughout the grade levels. It is being taught in K through 12, just not everywhere. And people are trying to, uh, but people are trying to push this into schools everywhere. But it's not in schools. Well, uh, people are trying to keep it that way. An example of why I call him Timmy. No one, no kids in elementary school or high school are taught, are taught critical race theory. Okay? It got to the point where if you said, give me that black eraser, they say, up oh, critical race theory. Because anytime you brought up black people in any, any way in a classroom, People grouped it into critical race theory. And I'm telling you, man, the Republicans did a damn good job of poisoning the well on any type of black history. A lot of people that support my show, I want you to understand this. All my, all my 10 black Wolfpack people, understand this. White women did not like critical race theory. They do not like it. I know you may know some cool white women, but in Virginia, Lord have mercy. I saw a couple of white women online saying, I feel ashamed to be a white woman. No! That's the opposite. Don't type that. That helps them. Never say that. <laughs> in the same video where he says, it's not in schools. Minutes later, he slips up and reveals one of the intentions of critical race theory and said that the white woman shouldn't have acknowledged what they read. Felt ashamed of being white, which is one of the aims of critical race theory. Some feel ashamed, some begin to feel guilty, but others get angry. Critical race theory is not to uh, merely to give an accurate account of American history. It's to divide people and not just based on race. Do this first, because what we, I want to talk about critical theory in general, critical gender theory. What, the, the big battle in Loudoun County is actually over a transgender policy bill, right. so it's not just race theory. Yeah. But I, I got I to gotta, I gotta pull up this book. <laughs> I was looking at this book. We got this. How to Be an Anti-Racist by Ibram X. Kendi. Huh. Ultimate summary, lessons, goals, checklists, and action plans. This is made press. So wh wh what is this? What is this in insane book? So this is a book <laughs> that you use while you read his book that Fairfax County, Virginia, for example, spent $24,000 buying and requiring children to read. And so then you get this workbook that accompanies it and you would have loved it, right? You would have just filled in the blank. You would have said, oh, okay, I have to go. To, this is my next prompt. You would have been a great student going through this workbook. So tell us some of the great questions that they've got in there. Well, I want to go to the, to the, let's go to, let's go to the back. Let's see what we got. Okay. Um, well, those are action steps. First, I'll just point out they have these these areas where you can write. Mm. Lessons. Number one, queer racism is a strong collection of racist policies leading to inequity among race sexualities that can be substantiated by racist ideas as regards race sexualities. Queer anti-racism is the phenomenal gathering of anti-racist policies leading to equity amongst race sexualities for authentication by anti-racist ideas on race sexualities. Every race sexuality is unique. 
Did that mean anything? I feel like I missed a step. <laughs> did I, yeah, did I missed something. It's What's so race Ian. sexuality? It's Answer so, the question. It's uh, intentional. Yes. Yeah, it's so intentional word salad mm-hmm. because they want to confuse people and make them dizzy with yes. their assumptions. They have so many strange assumptions in every sentence. Here, here, here's, here's one. In what ways can you be a successful gender and queer anti-racist? Yeah, exactly. Like what? What? Yeah. And then you just fill the blank in? Yeah, fill the blank in. Explain why everything about race is tied to lay down policies that predominantly cause so much harm to other racial groups. So, wait, 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 hold on. Right. <laughs> what? Explain why everything about race is tied to lay down policies that predominantly cause so much harm to other racial groups. What? What? Yeah. It's, what, what is he saying? Is he saying that his own book about race is harming racial groups? So, or is he saying that the restricting it cause harms to racial groups? Seems like he needs a copy editor. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> now here's dizzy. The, here, here's yeah. the goals. In uh, number one, and you, and you got to write, you got to fill this in. In what ways has your sexuality been threatened? How did you go about it, and what would you have done differently? What? What? Yeah. what how old are the kids who get this? These kids will be high schoolers. Oh, okay. 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 I mean, still, come yeah. on. Oh, yeah, a high for sure. Schooler, it's it's basically you're getting this Bible for critical mm-hmm. race theory handed to these kids for required reading, and then you're getting his own nonsense repeated back as if you're supposed it's, to it's, treat it it's like a, it's intelligent prompt. It's garbled nonsense. I mean, yeah. so here's yeah. here's another one, and the, again, you got to fill out the blank. Map out the modus operandi you intend to begin in helping to protect and shield vulnerable homosexuals and heterosexuals henceforth. Wow. Yeah. W- is that what high school kids need, need yes. to do? Yes. And, and so what's, what's the hidden agenda there? It is to turn our kids from being students of knowledge into activists. Yes. I mean, that's the bottom line. Teachers have said that. I love yeah. this. I love this. Yeah. Chapter 16, failure. It says race is a social construct, not a power construct. What? what? Yeah. <laughs> Word salad, indeed. Nah, that's because you don't understand it. Deliberate deception across the board. But did you hear that? Critical race theory also includes the promotion of homosexuality. Talk to kids as young as five years old is what they aim to do. If you use Google, put it to your search engine. Is homosexuality in critical race theory? And from there, you will see that the answer is yes. This stuff is not about giving an accurate account of American history. Accurate history is just to uh, cover to uh, and and an attempt in an attempt to hide the real intentions, nefarious intentions. The gender and sexuality divide as well, not just race. Critical race theory, you see these fights at these school board meetings over the transgender thing as well. Now this next clip, before he introduces his guest, this dude is going to do it all. But it's not taught in schools. Then he'll proceed to low-key suggest that people are stopping them from putting it in schools. He's also going to do the... Uh, It's because Tucker and Marjorie don't understand it. And listen, if they're banning something that doesn't exist, then why are the pro-critical race theory people upset? If it's not in any K-12 through schools and they're not even trying to put it in schools, then why get mad that people are banning it? Deception. So Republicans are fanning the flames of a new culture war, claiming the teaching of critical race theory is a threat to our kids and to community relations. But this isn't just some abstract argument. They're actually pushing through legislation in state after state as we speak. Legislation aimed at making sure it can't be talked about in schools, which isn't just dumb because critical race theory isn't taught in schools to begin with. It's taught to law students in university. But it's also a complete violation of the First Amendment from a party that claims to be all about free speech. Joining me now is Kimberly Crenshaw, executive director with the African American Policy Forum. She's also a law professor at Columbia and UCLA, host of the podcast Intersectionality Matters. And she's the one who coined the phrase intersectionality and also co-founded Critical Race Theory. Kimberly, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Your African American Policy Forum is campaigning 
against these Republican censorship campaigns. So I want to start by asking you to please explain what critical race theory actually is, because Tucker Carlson and Marjorie <laughs> Taylor Greene clearly don't have a clue. You do. You helped found it. Define it for our viewers, please, in the simplest of terms. The co-creator of the term critical race theory, Kimberly Crenshaw, in one of her writings, she says that capitalism is racism. And that's that anti-capitalism stuff you've been hearing me talk about. These people are Maoist. That's why you keep hearing these words, uh, equity and or equity or uh, inequity. Aiming to make everybody the same. Or in other words, communism. But the people who co-sign the idea of putting this in schools are so fixed on fixing white people or, or uh, getting revenge on white people that they can't see that critical race theory has little to nothing to do with helping you or me or society. You hear the word equity and inequity inserted into these uh, uh, infrastructure bills. And you hear those same words in this in these uh, climate control movements. And I'm assuming all countries do their infrastructure budget thing, but not all at the same time like now. Go look around and you see this infrastructure talk all at once, almost globally. Why? Well, it's for the concept of a new, of a one world government. Critical race theory is part of that and has little to nothing to do with helping you or me.